been like centuries since I've been in front of the camera you know before going any further if you haven't yet please subscribe it's free full of adventure I do fashion video twice a week Tuesday and Thursday 3 p.m. Easter time all the time every single week I love it I love giving advice you know it well for those like subscribe to my channel you know it by now so as you saw on the first part of the video it was all about being edgy for summer I think for those of you that actually watched my get to know me a little bit like a couple of weeks ago I used to be a little bit like gothic back in the days when I was like much younger everything dark was something that I was really 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 into when I went through the gothic phase and I still in a way wanted to keep that kind of really gothic style to me but just make it a little bit more like sophisticated and actually discovered that like bright colors were just like as good on me as just dark colors like, oh to me being edgy is all about mixing style let's say get a stud let's say get a belt a cowboy belt for example because it's like really trendy accent touch to something that could be really basic so that even if you want to be sophisticated stylish everything just goes back to just mix match everything i'm not saying that you need to look like a christmas tree of course not it's not the point 
clearly AJ is not about just having a style it's all about the attitude it's really hard for me to actually describe and the brief definition I'm pretty sure that for some people AJ could be one thing and AJ could mean other things for others I'm just gonna give you a quick little tips how you can be like that and what is my interpretation of being AJ of course they say all the time appropriate it on your answers. When I say being edgy for summer, it's just because during summer you really want to get to that kind of like bright colors. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that you still have to play with darker colors. You still have to do it. During winter, I'm like living with like darker colors and I love it. But for me, when it comes to summer, when it comes to spring, I really love playing with a lot of bright colors. And still looking to find a way to just like keep that kind of edginess to my style but yet add a lot more colors a lot more bright colors and that's kind of the challenge for me I need to come up with this video because I'm sure some girls probably are in my like place right now where they kind of have a style but they really want to just appropriate it in another type of season being edgy start with that kind of fierceness fearless type of attitude when it comes to it because fashion it's all about expressing yourself and showing to others how you are a little bit inside in fashion it's all about it i'm not somebody that's going to express myself that easily but when it comes to fashion it's just where you see me really like give it all <laughs> if i could say it like that people need to see it because before seeing the outfit we need to see and to feel that the edginess is being bold get beyond go beyond whatever people are gonna see go beyond whatever people are gonna try to just mix match is being bold AG is boldness to the other level so how to just like on it the first thing that you need to do is just to play with structure during summer i mean structured blazer structured outfits because we need to see a shape like you're sharper there is a sharpness to it really nice simple cut kind of straight lines that kind of really define and i said define line the example that i have it's one with my own lederish blazer that i the lookbook part of it this one that i bought a couple of centuries ago but i think it's a really great example when i talk about being like sharp you have a really nice defined line here it's not falling off on your shoulders it's something that you're not gonna see everywhere something that i love about it it's because it's like clean lines simple but structured summer it's really easy to do something like that because it's all about getting the lines and creating a really defined more defined shape that's being edgy to me not only the colors it's just the cut of it the second thing is that play again with darker colors important to have some kind of like darker colors on you black gold and white really nice example you saw that on one of my outfits if you can't like have any layer because it's too hot play with the colors and black and white are just a combination that to me could either make it really sophisticated or could make it really edgy depending how you're gonna pair it with to just like mix match a lot of different things like that a combination of like floral elements <laughs> what i want to say with that is that being able to combine something super feminine with something much more masculine not only gonna make the whole thing trendy i said that before but better because what i wear today is just an example for me that can be edgy while looking cute still else i love the ruffle and it's have a lot of like studs you have a lot of like stone silver elements going on every single thing hides in detail so but still having the cuteness to it and i'm all about combining everything you know me <laughs> the florals are gonna bring a lot of like, summery spring vibes to it have the outfit that i showed you on my lookbook as well you have a lot of feminine touches to it you have the ruffle make it a super 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 cute but with the belt you still get to that kind of edgier vibe edgier side without doing too much you have a lot of lot of lot of aspect going on to me it's just to play with the sunglasses you can be sophisticated you can be stylish being edgy is still that you have to be bold not good but great i'm gonna show you what i mean by that these toppers to me are just 
amazing it's from id mix brand they agreed because they sent me an email uh, asking me if i could collaborate with them i was able to choose sunglasses that i want and i with these two pairs I think it's they're just fabulous with the options because they have a tons of great options. I have a discount, it's gonna be right in the description box below. To me are just the best for any type of outfit really. My last tip, wear heels. I've discovered sneakers, I think it's my life right now, but you have to wear heels much more if you want to look edgier because it's sophisticated, but it can look really edgier depending again of the style. During summer, we tend to wear a lot of like wedges and it's normal, like a lot of sandals, wedges, and it's comfortable. And you don't have to wear like super high heels. Cheetah prints to me are probably one of the best. I wear them with pretty much anything really. They come with like really good original tip. Me and just looking to a way to just like adapt your own style for summer if it's like really specific to something much more darker. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you liked it. It's still my reference, it's still my safe spot if I could say. I to just like, try to adapt because trend is something, your style is something else. I love to add my own uniqueness to everything that I'm gonna wear. So being trendy is good, but having a style and having a unique style comes up to you comes up to your own expression, your own way of expressing yourself and what you're gonna express. It's all in one. So edgy for me is just being unique. It's being able to just adapt your style. I can pretty much incorporate any type of trendy, stylish, original, authentic pieces to my outfit the way I want to just because I'm trying to think outside of the box. I hope it helped you. I just want to know what is your definition of being edgy and what is your style? Is there any look that you want to just adapt for summer but you're really sure how to do it? If you're not sure, let me know in the down box below on social media. All my outfits are going to be on my social media. So Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, they're going to be there. So definitely follow me. You're not going to regret this. Everything is going to be linked in the description box below. I'm going to try to find similar items if I could. And I'm going to link them in the box below. So that it's going to be easier to help you much more hopefully. For my magazine, my lookbook magazine, this month I was not able to finish it. So for those of you who actually were waiting for it, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely sorry about it. I've been through a lot last week, let's just put it that way. I was just not able to do it. But a good thing for me to actually kind of like think about a strategy to actually work on it more and see what I can do with it. For May edition, you're gonna have the link in the description box below. Any question, anything else, let me know in the comment box below as usual. Show my lookbook ready, hopefully. Weekly challenge on Instagram, so if you're really interested in it, all the details are gonna be there. If you have any questions, just get back at me. Always available, always will, will be available. So uh, everything is gonna be down in the description box below. Lastly, I have the lookbook, all the unique lookbook to you to have your own look, for your own event, for your own wardrobe. If you want to just like change your wardrobe a bit or just want to find a way to just like wear your clothes differently, I have a lookbook service for that. It's gonna be in the description box below. Aside for any other type of like services when it comes to it, let me know. I'll be more than glad to do it. I'm gonna see you guys on my next video on Thursday. So until then, have yourself a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful week. <laughs> and like I say all the time, smile because it's free. Bye. Salut les amis, merci d'avoir regardé ma vidéo. Je m'aime à trouver un terme en français pour définir le côté edgy. De là, de tout ce qui est tendance, de tout ce qui est classique, de tout ce qui est un certain style spécifique et pouvoir incorporer tout ça en un. Ça va ressembler à un sapin de Noël, c'est pas ce qu'on veut. Ça vient avec une confiance, ça vient avec une allure, mais ça vient avec une attitude. C'est un côté où on ose beaucoup, tout en restant classe, tout en restant sophistiqué, gothique, quand j'étais plus jeune. C'est quelque chose qui s'est modifié, s'est développé, a changé au fil des années, beaucoup. Je suis très féminine par rapport à mon habillement, mais j'ajoute toujours des éléments. J'adore ajouter des éléments, vraiment jouer non seulement sur un côté très androgyne quand je veux, ou un côté très féminin quand je veux. Voir, avoir cette liberté. J'aime le fait de pouvoir ne pas juste être associé à une tendance spécifique, ou être associé à un style en particulier, 
J'adore pouvoir combiner tous les types de styles quand je peux et quand je veux. Pour moi, edgy, c'est cette définition-là. Ça varie beaucoup sur mon personne. Et en été, c'est plus difficile parce que beaucoup plus sombre, c'est du blanc, c'est du noir, c'est du gris. Donc, c'est des tons beaucoup plus hivernaux. Essayez d'incorporer ça dans notre garde-robe de l'été. Je veux garder cette petite authenticité, j'ai envie de dire, propre à moi. J'ai un petit peu des conseils, j'espère que ça vous a aidé. Si vous avez des questions, n'hésitez pas, je suis toujours disponible. Pour des filles de la semaine, d'Instagram, tous les détails vont être en bas. Book, par rapport au magazine, je n'ai pas pu le publier ce mois-ci. Parce que euh, la semaine passée, c'était assez lourd. Il euh, y a Instagram, j'ai Twitter, j'ai Facebook, j'ai Snapchat. Tout va être en bas. Comme un lookbook personnalisé, où vous pouvez le faire à votre goût, à votre sauce, à votre identité. Un petit peu euh, l'idée de pouvoir incorporer vos looks. Vous avez des questions par rapport à comment vous pouvez un petit peu adapter votre look par rapport à l'été. Si vous êtes comme moi, ou vous avez un look un petit peu plus particulier, mais vous voulez l'adapter. Que ce soit dans la vie de tous les jours, que ce soit dans la vie au travail, que ce soit pour l'été, que ce soit pour les saisons. Une fois de plus, c'est la place pour ça. Je suis là pour ça. D'ici là, je vais vous souhaiter un super beau début de semaine. Puis je vous revois jeudi pour ma prochaine vidéo. Donc, euh, je dis toujours, souriez parce que bah, c'est gratuit. Bye.